Hey, good morning, fish heads. Jen Cravasi. It is, um, what is today? We're losing track of our days, aren't we? It's the 3rd of April, but you guys are not going to see this on the 3rd of April. I've got a lot of content that I want to upload. So, real quick before we get started, because I want to give a shout out for another small proprietorship. Um, before we get started in today's, just, just to give you guys, if you guys are regular to the channel, you might not be. Um, I had a, an interesting comment yesterday on the video that I released of um, me and Nathan from Favorite Fishing, fishing with CJ on the water. That was not shot yesterday. It was, it was uploaded yesterday, but it wasn't shot yesterday. So please understand that we are in the States taking every precaution uh, during these crazy times. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, things that are uploaded usually unless I say that it's the same day are not shot on the same day that they're uploaded because there's just too much content I would be oversaturating you guys so I'm trying to do uploads every single day for you guys while we're all in our homes and looking for new things to do I'm doing I'm gonna do a, a few spray session shoots this weekend I'm excited about doing that it's kinda gonna be rainy and miserable and not miserable but just not it's going to be good weather for, for teaching, so I'm excited about that. I'll probably have the roll-up door. I have the roll-up door this this morning. It's open, and if you hear a lot of background birds and things like that, that's a good thing. Um, it's nice to hear that, and it's really nice to be able to shoot with the roll-up open because I enjoy fresh air, and I think all of us need that right now. So I hope you enjoy the birds. I hope that they're not screaming over top of me. Um, but again, it's nice to, to breathe some fresh air with you guys this morning. It's an overcast day here in Jonesboro, Arkansas. We are putting the pieces back together from the tornado, the EF3 that came through here. So um, this is a really strong community. For those of you that are local that watch the channel, um, this is an incredibly amazing community. And it's taken a while for me to kind of warm up to it because I'm not from here. Um, I love the family here. I love the, the camaraderie. It is a, a small town spirit, similar to where I grew up when I was a kid in Bel Air, Maryland, before it became just a sprawling extension of Baltimore, Maryland. That's my, that's my home, uh, hometown is Bel Air, Maryland, where I was born. I was actually born on an army base. So that's a little backstory on me. We'll get into more of that later. But I do want to get into, just, just to finish that piece up, um, yeah, we're taking every precaution. Um, so that was not filmed um, this week or... Anyways, so it wasn't recent. Okay, we have a really cool shout out. I gave you a shout out on Facebook, Timothy, and uh, just Crossroads Custom Tackle sent me some blanks out of the kindness of their heart, and I really appreciate that. So um, sent me some cool stuff from his arsenal, some of his, his favorites, and he, he made a comment on Facebook, and I'm going to make the comment here. This one is... Uh, uh, it's a flow through technology so it's water through in the front and out the back um, it is a deeper diving from what I can tell although I'm not sure how deep it's going to troll with the wheel through and the water through but uh, of course he made the mention to be very careful about painting not getting paint in the wheel and sticking that wheel shut and also with uh, clear coating I'm sure there'll be a question on how I would clear coat this I would absolutely brush this and not dip it this is not a dippable not not even remotely close because it's got the wheel inside of it. So you're, you're going to have to brush on, for me, KBS. For you guys, it would be Illuminite Light or BSI or whatever kind of epoxy you guys are using. So 100% brush on only and be very mindful of where it's getting in and try not to hit the inside of these things. But very cool, Tim. Thank you so much. I'll read you the letter real quick. He said he just wanted to personally thank me. For all that you do online, you've helped me tremendously to improve my painting ability and at the same time make me really think outside the box and come up with things that I'd never thought of before. Please forgive the hard typing. I'm not one to be very punctual with my letters. Uh, as I said before, you, this is a great letter. Thank you so much. I'm very moved by you guys when you, when you send me cool stuff. Keep doing what you're doing. Many people love the help that you give. Stay safe, stay healthy. More importantly, look up. In times such as these, we all need to dig a little deeper spiritually and see the bigger picture of what's going on. I've enclosed a few. I've enclosed a few of my favorite baits that I had. See, I did the same thing on the last. <laughs> I, I want to say included. I think because the sentence starts with I. It's just I don't know. My brain sees it different. 
I'm not, I've never been dyslexic, but who knows? Um, I've enclosed a few of my favorite baits that I have in my arsenal. Hopefully you can paint them and put them to use as always tight lines. And thank you for doing what you do. Timothy crossroad custom tackle. And I will give you his logo here. We'll show that to you before we move that off. Um, love the logo. It's very cool. Obviously the fish in the cross. Um, so he's on Facebook. I'm not sure if he has a website because I haven't, I haven't looked Tim. I'm sorry. Um, but especially times like these where half of America is, is searching for income right now. Um, I'm a strong proponent on, and I always have been on this channel of, of small business and uh, I'm, I'm obviously not the only game in town. I love to cheat, teach, and I try and do that as often as I can on here. But check out your other local tackle as well. Um, the other custom painters out there, there's a lot of them. I try and promote as many of you guys as I can. Um, if you want a shout out on this channel, I will always be happy to do it. I've got some cool baits coming from TJ Hatfield that I cannot wait to show you guys. He is just a phenomenal painter. Um, so yeah, there's there's a lot of folks out there. If you guys want me to feature you on this channel, send me some stuff to show off. I would love to. I love doing stuff like that. So check out Crossroads Custom Tackle. He's on Facebook. You can find him there. And um, if you have a website, by all means, we'd love to, to hear about it, Tim. So thank you again for the cool blanks that you sent. This one is really cool, too. It's a weedless, hard, uh, hard swim bait, single hook looks really cool i would love to try this on some stripers deep because it look it feels it's weighted pretty heavy i would imagine this is around an ounce just by feeling it so yeah yeah um some kind of depthy type stuff and top water this will probably be a cool cicada maybe we'll do this maybe that's what i'll do tim maybe i'll do a small water cicada um in a spray session down the road for you so, yeah, thank you so much, so, so much. And I, I've used these. I love these. There's a version that's made in, um, or it's actually distributed for Europe and the Netherlands, and they do a lot of uh, yellow, yellow perch fishing is hardcore over there. Um, there is an adjustable line tie. There is actually two of these. Um, you can move it to where it'll swim like this, or you can move it where it'll swim more straight up and down. So yeah, these are great little, great little lipless. Um, for the smallness of them, they're weighted awesome. So check these out. I know Schultz carries them. I've seen them a few other places. So, and you know, there's a, and there's a lot of distributors here in the states, and it's just it's a struggle to get stuff in right now. I know that um, I think Dinger's still waiting on his. S cranks and um, just a whole bunch of stuff. So please, please, please support your local businesses, support places like Dinger and Cedar Run, and you know all the all the other alternative lures, backwater. There's there's just a ton. Um, I know Skinny Boy is selling lures. So there's or blanks. I know he also paints. Most of these guys that distribute here in the states um, for overseas are also really good painters. So yeah, just check out your local businesses. And without further ado, 8 minutes and 35 seconds into this very long, drawn-out session that you guys are going to see on another. This is a white mouse. This is all black and white, red eyes. This is on that uh, evergreen replica pressing. And I swam this in the fishing video that I just uploaded. Um, and you can hear it knocking. The camera is nowhere close to it, but it puts out a phenomenal knock on this particular hard one. There's a circuit board lip um, wake bait that circulates as well that swims a little bit higher in the water column. This has a tendency to go just under the surface, whereas the, uh, the other wake bait with the circuit board lip that circulates around the states um, will swim right on top of the water. So that's the difference. They're both really good swimmers, and I like them a lot. So Dave Eaves uh, asked for, and he added, he, we did an add-on, so I've just included all of this together now. This is your Hornet. This is that um, European Hornet, which in real life, it's about this big. So can you imagine holding a real live Hornet that were that big? That's crazy. Um, that was that big. I'm telling you, language in the mornings, it's tough. Um, this goes out to him. It's one of uh, seven pieces now. It was a six piece. And then he asked for some variations on monarch butterflies. He had seen the pattern that I did, and I'd sent him a couple. 
And then he asked for some variations. So this is the black and yellow that he requested. Let's see if we can get this in frame and in focus. So I'm recording um, because my iPhone shoots 4K. I record very easily on my iPhone, which is where you guys are seeing me this morning. I think the birds outside are getting to my Yorkie poo, the little guy. We have a blue and white version as well with those freshwater pearl eyes. Just a, a lot of fun. This is it takes a little bit to get these patterns done. It's not one of the easier patterns that I do just because there's so much detailing on it. But there is our blue version. He also asked for the red and orange cross and we've got the these are I'm giving you something new Dave and and I've been swimming these for a while it's not really new new but it's newer to a lot of guys and I'm I'm really excited to kind of showcase with this with you you're gonna love the way this swims this has some of the best hunting action these this is that duo um, the original Japanese version of this um, is weighted almost identically to how this one's weighted. They're just great swimmers. Uh, I've got a bluegill that I've kind of hung on to, which I don't normally hang on to my own baits very often just because I need to sell them um, and pay the bills, basically. So the ones that I do hang on to um, are because I really love the way they swim. And this is just one of those baits. This, this blank is really, really good. You can find these at Dinger and Cedar Run and, and places like that. So if you guys have not been swimming these, start doing it because these are some of the best that I've seen. Um, rivals to the originals that are from Duo. And then I've got uh, kind of a plain Jane mouse, but it's like a ruddy brown red fading into an orange, like a kind of a tangerine on the, on the belly of it and got some cool eyes on that. I'll put glass eyes on stuff that's top water because um, generally nine times out of ten they're not going to get knocked around. I've got them super glued in but these are glass eyes and there is a link if you guys are builders, if you guys are lure makers there's a link in the description below on where to get them. Um, you can pick them up on Amazon. For those of you that don't like dealing with Amazon I think you can find them on AliExpress. I think I've seen them there a couple times but um, they come, these are the six millimeters. You can get them like three millimeters through 12 millimeters. Um, I know Pete, um, Pete's rodents uses the larger ones. I think I've sent some to them out in San Diego. And then last but certainly not least, we have got for Chris Flores, my buddy, uh, got some cool gill patterns for him. And these are um, John's eyes over at Jetson Lure Eyes. You can see there he is right there. And uh, for, for Gerald, you're right. I think I do try and use all the colors in the prism when I'm painting, especially on gills. These are just fun. This is all pearlized stuff. And then I shot over top of the colors um, with some pearl white which really puts off a nice sheen and it's got a lot of flake in it that, that uh, really really is attractive going through the water so these are for him I hope you guys have a fantastic day stay safe stay healthy um, we want you to do that every day here at Jekyll Bates but especially now in these crazy times love each and every one of you I hope you have a great day and enjoy your weekend and breathe some fresh air and we'll see you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.